address, setup, stance, posture, and alignment. Sense the pure athleticism in the setup posture, perfectly poised to start the backswing. The correct amount of knee flex can be determined by looking down at your knees and noting that the vertical line passing just in front of your kneecaps will pass through the balls of your feet or through the junction of the forefoot and midfoot. As you bend the knees, you should simultaneously push the hips back so that you create the appropriate bend at the hip level. It is important to bend at the hips, not the waist. After you have acquired the correct amount of knee flex, the correct bend at the waist, a straight lower back and a straight neck, you should ensure that your hands hang vertically down from the shoulders in a relaxed manner when the club face is placed behind the ball. You should avoid feeling that you are stretching out your arms towards the ball. Little difference in the degree of bend at the hip and the degree of vertical arm position when hitting a driver compared to hitting an iron. Spine is tilted to the right and your right shoulder is lower than your left shoulder. Your hands is behind the ball. Left hip is slightly higher than the right hip. The effort of the pro is to get the body behind the ball, which is evident of a good setup. 10 to 30 degree flaring out of both feet. The correct stance width is the stance width that allows the knees to get together and to be in line and the hips fully rotated 90 degrees. Number two in the above sequence of three stance width positions, number two is correct. Stance width variation number one is too narrow and allows the hips to over rotate while stance width variation number three is too wide, preventing complete hip rotation. Adopt a stance width and then turn the body 90 degrees so that the chest and hips fully face the target. The correct stance is the stance width that allows the knees to get together and be in line and the hips are fully rotated 90 degrees. Driver in line with the armpit. Long middle iron in line with shirt logo. Short irons in line with left cheek border. Ben Hogan's ball position from reference club. Elbow and forearm position. Right forearm is closer to the ball line than the left forearm. The left forearm sticking out below the right forearm in the down the line view. If the opposite situation occurs and the left forearm is higher, closer to the ball line than the right forearm, this will encourage a two inside swing path in the early back swing takeaway. Shoulders are the most important part of the body that has to be parallel to the ball target line. When aiming the club face, you should look at the lower two or three groove lines in the club face and ensure those groove lines are at right angles to the ball target line. Feet are placed parallel to the ball target line. Jack Nicholas has very powerful legs and a tremendous leg drive in the downswing. He often ends up with his left leg bowed slightly outward at impact. Tilt your spine slightly to the right at address. This causes your right shoulder to drop down. You can reach down to the club without having to bring your right shoulder forward. It also causes your hands to move away from the central position between the thighs to a final hand position closer to the left thigh. 
Nick Farvel's swing travels on a curve through impact. Play the ball roughly three inches inside the left heel, which starts the ball straight. If the ball is played too far forward, the ball will start left and may slice back. If the ball is played too far back, it will be pushed out to the right.